So this screencast is going to look how to uh, get started with Eagle. So I'm just going to launch Eagle version 8. So you can check uh, what license you've got. So hopefully this says premium. So you regi register with Autodesk as a student. And then when you um, log into your copy of Eagle, you should have a um, premium version. So having the premium version gives us access to a bigger board size. Because so with a free with with a free word version, you can get you're limited to I think it's eight centimeters by ten centimeters. But the premium version lets us uh, design much bigger PCBs. So when it launches, you'll find you've got the control panel, and there's these um, different drop down areas on the back on the left. Sorry. So you'll find there's a projects folder. So there's some examples, so some built-in um, uh, examples of some of the existing circuits built with Eagle. And there's a projects one. So this is your, this is typically in your home folder. So in Windows, whatever my documents. So here you want to create a new project. So I'll right-click here, new project. So I call this gamepad. Now I've actually set up on my Eagle. If you go on, um, options and then directories you can add in different directories for the default one so I've put my projects folder you can see at the bottom here to be my um, iCloud so you might want to do it if you've got OneDrive or Dropbox or something so it, it kind of designs a backup automatically so I've got my project folder now I've created a project inside that project folder and then now we need to add a schematic because there's two parts to an Eagle PCB. We've got a schematic and we've got our board as well. So I'm going to right click on the project and then create a new schematic. So this window's popped up, popped up now. So this is where we're going to actually design our circuit schematic. So you can see in the toolbar here we've got the title. So it's currently untitled. So I'm going to save this. File, um, save as. So let's put it in that project. So when you create a project, it creates a folder for that. And inside there is this file to do with some kind of Eagle settings. I'm not really too sure what that is. So I'll just call this gamepad .sch. So sch is a um, extension for a schematic. So now we've got our schematic. So you can see in the schematic, there's a, these toolbars on the left. So these are the different tools we'll be using later to you know, do our schematic and our a board layout and this one here add so this adds a part into it this is how we add components into our schematic so in eagle uh, components are organized into libraries so you can see there's hundreds of libraries thousands and thousands of components so you can download oh, you can see these ones here so spark fun i've downloaded these libraries from the internet from the spark fun website they've got lots of useful uh, <clears throat> components you commonly come across. So I've had to put the, all the components we need for this gamepad I've put into a library. So I've got that on my desktop. So I was going to copy these both files. So these files are found on the VLE. I'm going to copy both of these. I'm going to put them into my project folder. So this is in the gamepad project folder created before. I've copied this library file and then a CAM file we'll need later on. So now we need. To, I want to tell Eagle that we want to use this library. So you go on the library menu, menu use, and navigate to the project folder, and then gamepad.lbr. So LBR is for library. So I've added that. So now we're going to add. So it takes a few seconds to launch when you add a new library, just because it's got to load it in. So inside here, you will find all the components. That we need to use for this. So rather than having to, um, you know, search through tens of thousands of components, I've put them all into this library for you. So at this point, at this point, we've got our schematic. You know, we've set up our project, we've got our schematic, we've imported our library. So the next step is to start adding components.